Hey guys, I am back with another video. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Returning subscribers, welcome back. We are going to go over all of the different binders that I have in my collection and the amounts that are in the envelopes. So let's get started. I'm not going to toss the binders because this is not the video for that. So this is my kiddos binder and it's just exactly as I said, it's just for kids. So I have my son. This is my oldest son. He does not live here with me in the home. He is married. He has three kids. So he currently has nothing. 10, 12, 13 dollars is what my son has in his um, envelope. There was a good amount in here and I help him out with his bills if he asks for help every now and then and that's where that money goes. This is for my oldest daughter. She has her own job. However, I do like to save a little something for her when I have extra funds. She currently has 20, 30, 40, 42, 43, 44 dollars. She has a little bit more but I don't think she remembers that I'm actually saving this money. She knew like way back when but I don't think she knows they do this anymore for her. This is for double digit baby. So she currently has 500, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200. These are placeholders. This represents money that I actually have in a high yield savings account. I created these just really fast on Canva. This is her uh, favorite artist, Frida Kahlo. I'm sure you can tell by the brows and she's a cute little uh, chibi, chibi character. So this is collecting interest. And then for cash, she has 10, 15, 17, and 19. So 1,219 dollars is the total amount that she has available. Now this is not going to be given to her until she graduates high school and is going into college. I would like for this to be like a little bit of a buffer for her to use for whatever she might might need. Clothes, if she has a car for expenses, to, whatever she wants. I just want to be able to gift her this money and be like, yeah, go ahead and be a little lady and do what you need to do. This is for baby of the house. So she, um, at the same as her older sister, also has placeholders. And this is one of her favorite, well, her only favorite character on Demon Slayer Nezuko. So she has 500, 1,000, 1,100, 1,200. This is sitting in the high yield savings account collecting a little interest. And then cash, she has 10, 15, 17 dollars. So this is the total amount that she has and they do both know that I have this money for them but they also know they cannot touch it. This is for my grandbabies. I have three grandbabies. So they have 20, 40, 50, 55, 57, 59, 60, one sixty-two dollars. I like to keep two dollar notes for them. I have three grandbabies, so there's one for each of them. And they oh, this is from 1976. Okay, not too bad. So I'm gonna keep these for them, and then I don't even know. I guess once they turn like 18 or something, maybe I'll give it to them. We will see. I don't even know. This is for my daughters here in the house. This is for their birthdays. So I have three different dividers that I created for them. So I have my oldest daughter's birthday, I have double digit baby, and then I also have baby girl. So I have their separate dividers and they each have I think $5. So we have five in one, five in another, and five in baby girl. So I have $15 total. And just in case you guys have not noticed, I do also have trackers in a majority of my envelopes. And this is so that I know how often I'm actually pulling and it's really easy for me to get into my envelope because to be honest, I don't always update on my Excel spreadsheet. So if I need to, I can just come in here and look at my tracker really quick. Say, boom, okay, I have $15. I can do nothing. But anyway, that way I know the amounts that I have in each envelope. This is kiddo spending. So if I see something I want to buy for either grandbabies, kiddos, nieces, nephews, whoever it may be, I have two single dollar bills. So I was saving for my nephew, his trip to Paris for this year. So I saved up $100 for him, sent that on over. So I'm just putting little bits in there right now. We have $2 I still haven't cleaned off this tracker. Don't judge me, I will eventually get that done. I don't want this video to be too long. So let's keep going. All right, next up is going to be long-term. So long-term are um, funds or envelopes that I am saving for a long period. It's not going to be like a beauty envelope or um, toiletries, something like that. This is going to be Christmas, vacation, taxes, retirement, 
something like that. Something that, you know, you can tell it's going to take years or even an entire year to save for. So Christmas, I just started over for the 2024 year. So far, I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75 dollars. My goal is 1,500 dollars. Will I reach that? I don't know, but we will see. My goal is to reach that. I'm going to incorporate many savings challenges to get there. Anytime I have extra money, I'm going to chuck it in there and we'll see how that goes. College is just that. College for my kids. I don't have an update, but right now I have $500 in there for them. This is sitting in the bank collecting interest. And these beautiful placeholders I received from Red to Black Budgeting. Gorgeous, right? Next up is going to be emergency. Now, I've kind of debated. I don't know if you guys can see the... Um, the glare is is mad disrespectful because of the ring light that I have, but you guys would have no light if I didn't have this bad boy on, or it would be like shadow puppets. So anyway, I've debated on changing the name of emergency to something different, and mainly because I heard some other YouTubers say they don't want their envelope to be titled or named emergency because that's kind of like confessing it, bringing it on. So I don't want to do that, but I don't know what I should call it. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to leave it as that, but... Right now, I have 100, 200, 300. These are gold placeholders. I um, I don't sell these in my shop. I want to, but right now, what I do is I just include these in every order, and I send these out whenever you purchase from my Etsy shop. So I have $300 collecting interest. I will have an update. I did a, uh, I just had a little question Nair, not a questionnaire. Was like I had asked a question in one of my recent videos, what I should do with my month ahead fund. We'll go over that one as well. And a majority of people said for me to take a certain amount of money to get this fund up to my goal, my initial goal, which is a thousand dollars. So I would love to do that. And then the the remaining amount, most likely put right back into month ahead. If not, I might put it in my savings. Hold on, I need to get a drink. All right, oh, I'm still recovering in case you guys can't tell. I got um, a cold or something. I don't even know. Cash, I have 50, 60, 65, 66, 67. So 367 dollars is the total amount that I have in this envelope, but I am hoping to bump that on up to $1,000, which would be great. Later Me is a retirement fund for myself. Every 100, I deposit into my Fidelity account. <clears throat> and right now I have 500, 600. These, hold on, I might need to get a cough drop because this is not cool. All right, so um, these placeholders I actually received as um, beautiful happy mail from Renee, just roll it in glitter. She is an Australian based cash stuffer, wonderful woman. She has a YouTube channel and she has an Etsy shop. Please go support her. She sent these to me and I was like, oh my gosh, I actually have this perfume. So it worked out wonderfully. So she sent me a bunch of these. So I have a $500 placeholder, a $100 placeholder. And this again, just represents the money that I have in the bank. So I don't have a whole lot of money here because that to me wouldn't be very smart. You never know. So anyway, I have $600 sitting in my Fidelity account and it goes up and down. You know how Fidelity is. It's like a hate love relationship. I really debated on seeing if I can pull that money and put it in a high yield savings account. But so far, I'm just leaving it there for right now. So $602 is the total amount that I have in this um, in this envelope here. Okay, no days off. So this um, is a, a tracker that I had purchased from Mommy Budgets, I believe. I have it so small. Yes, yeah, so Mommy Budgets on Etsy and on YouTube. And she created No Days Off. And she said it was because of the envelope, the category that I have. And I was like, that is beautiful. So I had to purchase that. I am not implementing this right now, though. As you can see, she's bare. I do not have a job right now. I'm a house manager, so I don't get days off. I did get two, I lie, I got two days off when I was sick uh, to recover because I just couldn't anymore. Taxes is empty. I'm not dealing with that. That's actually in my business binder, so we'll go over that shortly. Vacation is for a vacation, whether it's a long-term or a short-term. Long-term vacation would be about 10 days. Short-term vacation would be like a three-day vacation. So I have dividers in here and I wanted to do this so that I could separate all the different categories that we use on our vacation. So stay for a hotel. It's most likely an Airbnb is what we like to do. Food for the food. And miscellaneous would be for like, um, what are the little curios that the kids like to get? Like keychains or souvenirs. 
uh, if we go to some shops or anything at a budget, that's what this one's for. And post-vacation, that would be to help either replenish groceries when we get back or to help catch up on bills or whatever it may be for the time that we were gone. So I currently have a little bit of money in here. Right now, I have a total amount of $20, $40, $60 dollars in here. And I didn't want to put it in anything specific. I want to wait until I get a little bit more money in here. We do have a vacation planned. Nothing has been scheduled yet, but we have one planned to go to uh, Tokyo this year, 2024. That's going to be our big family vacation. We debated on that or Cancun. We went, I think, last year and maybe the year before with family. We loved it, but we want to do something different. So that's my long term. Now I have short term. So this one here is utilized the most. I am in this binder so much, so much that I'm surprised my envelopes are not falling apart. So the first one is beauty and that's for exactly that beauty, whether it's makeup or skincare. If I want to get my nails done, if I want to get a pedicure, if I want to go get my hair done, which I don't, I do my hair. I do everything at home. Let's be real. I've gotten my nails done a few times. Pedicures I really love to do, but I don't want to sit there for that long time. So anyway, Beauty currently has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 71, 72, 73, 74 dollars in there. There will be a small deduction. I'm hoping small. Um, I've been tracking in my little budget booklet thing and uh, I need to do that at the end of the week. I like to do my weekly unstuffings on Saturdays or on Sundays that way I can replenish my account and if you're wondering what I'm talking about what we basically do is use these envelopes to purchase and only purchase any items that we need. So this one is can we and this one I label can we can we do this can we do that can we go here can we go there can I get this or can I get that so if we were to go to the aquarium, I would use this can we fund for that. And currently in here, I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 2, 3, 93 dollars. So let's say that we go to the aquarium and we spend 90 dollars. So I'll write all this down in my budget book. And at the end of the week, I will come into this envelope, withdraw the money that I need, and then put that into my account so that I can pay the credit card. I love to use credit cards because I get cash back. And you can also get a lot of deals on there. Um, it also helps with your credit score. So that's the reason why I utilize my credit cards, but I have zero balances on them and I like to keep them that way. Clothing, oh, hold on, because I, I just realized I just, touched, I just touched my nose and I had touched money. Clothing is gonna be up next and that's for clothing. Anything from, oh, I keep touching my face. <laughs> Clothing, as far as anything from shoes, socks, actual clothes themselves, that's what I would use this for. And it's for anyone in the family. So currently I have 10, 20, 30, $40 flat in here. I would like to do a, um, a condensing, but I'm gonna leave the smaller bills in there because between you and I, what I like to do is I'll pull out whatever the ATM will give me. I usually do drive through I'll pull out whatever the ATM will give me and then I make change from all of my binders. Obviously, I have like a little bank here. So that's what I do here. Daddy is for my husband. So this is for anything I want to purchase for him. Whether it's for birthday, anniversary, just a little something. I have 20, 30, 35, $40 is the total amount that I have in Daddy's envelope. And it's funny because my daughters and I, we don't argue, but we'll debate. And especially baby of the house should be like, well, he's my daddy. I was like, well, he was my daddy first. And she's like, no, -uh. I was like, girl, yes. Okay, gifts is going to be next. So gifts is for any type of gifts. Baby shower gifts, birthday gifts, housewarming gifts, um, retirement gifts, wedding gifts, any gifts. Or if I want to gift money to somebody. So I have been gifting money to my brother. Uh, I haven't done that in a while. I will need to check in on him and see. So right now I have $10 in there. <gasps> Oh, I need to update this. Let me do that really quick. And this is, okay, I guess I did. Ooh, I don't know when I did it though. So I'm just going to put a balance of 10 because I don't remember when I withdrew that. Excuse my reach here. Ooh, I have fuzz. Okay. Next up is going to be health and fitness. So this is for contacts, um, medication, eye exams, anything like that. I have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, $53 in there right now. 
Next up will be investments. I have nothing in there right now. I'm just, I'm not doing any investing right now. I should be. I was doing dollar investing, which means every time I shop at Dollar Tree, I will put a dollar into that stock, whether it's through Robinhood or Cash App, depending on whether or not I get a dividend. I put a little pause on that right now, so we'll just leave it at that. Kiddos activities is for field trips, book fairs, and also for my kids' lunch accounts. I have zero, obviously, in there. I did just take out some money to give to Double Digit Baby. I had to have a little talk with her because her money was going so fast. And I was like, what is going on? Why is your money just like literally being eaten up so fast? And she told me that she was buying snacks and lunches for one of her friends or a couple of her friends. And I was like, okay, well, you have to stop doing that. And I love it that you're so giving, but people can legit take advantage of you. And I need you to understand. And I, I really try to like drill it into their head. Like mommy doesn't work right now. I stay at home. Daddy gives me money, and if I get Etsy money or YouTube money, that's something different. But I budget each and every dollar that I get very carefully to make sure that you guys can have things. So you need to chill. So she's like, okay, I understand. So she told her friend already, like, I can't you know, buy you any more food, but we will see how that goes. She's just very loving, and she can be very, um, very forgiving, and people tend to try to take advantage of that. <laughs> Anyway, miscellaneous is for anything that is out of budget. I currently have 10, 20, 25 dollars in there. Next will be personal. She has absolutely nothing. This is for me. I need to clean this off. I don't remember what I purchased, but obviously she is ran through. <laughs> Pets is for our puppers. We have two very large female German Shepherds. They are sisters. They're going to be four this year. And they're starting to get like the gray whiskers under their chin. Oh my gosh, they're getting so old, but they're still like puppies, super energetic and ridiculous. They corn cob the heck out of me. So anyway, Pets currently has 10, 15, 20 dollars in there. I use this for their bedding, treats, toys, whatever. Oh, I did just buy them big old babies. I call their stuffies their babies, so I will need to do a withdrawal. And I bought them some treats. They really like the blue buffalo treats. So I'll have to do a, uh, a, a cash out of that one. Okay, short term is done. Let's go ahead and jump into holidays and seasons. I should have told you guys it's going to be a long video. <gasps> Maybe I'll be able to put a little note down when I'm doing editing. It's going to be a long one. All right, this is for holidays and seasons, and it is exactly that. I like to save for every holiday that we celebrate and every season, and that is because if we want to go swimming or if the girls want to go to the... Oh, what's going on, babe? Mommy, what do you need? The first one is for Valentine's Day, and this is for the upcoming Valentine's Day. So... I have $16 in my Capital One account. I'm just going to pull this. This makes no sense to me. So I'm going to pull that, put that aside. All right. So in here right now, I have 10, 20, 30, 40. <laughs> what are you doing, silly? In Valentine's, um, I currently have, okay, so I just, I took that placeholder out because it didn't make any sense. I had $16 in the bank account. I'm just going to leave it as that. So for cash, I currently have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91 dollars in here. And I told you guys, in case you didn't catch it in my other video, I can't exactly go over why I have so many five dollar bills. It's a little thing. I'm hoping I can show you what my plan is in the future, but I can't right now because I have little ears in here. Next up is going to be for Easter, and that is just for that. So we have 20, 30, 40 dollars. I will most likely only be buying for the three girls in the home. I don't believe we plan on heading back or anything like that. Halloween is going to be the next one, and this is for costumes or candy. I currently have $10 in there right now. We do have a long ways to go. Next up will be for a Thanksgiving. That is for that large meal. I currently have $5 in there. That's for decor or for food. Uh, I would like to save about 200 here in Washington. Groceries are, it's, I mean, groceries are expensive everywhere, but I just feel like everything costs if like at least double the amount of what it was back home in Phoenix. Anyway, Christmas, this is extra Christmas fun. So if I need to buy wrapping paper, bows, if I want to buy some decor, uh, if I need to buy a new stocking for somebody, ornaments, things like that. Every year we try to buy a new ornament for everyone. So that's when I can use that. Winter is for any winter activities. I have nothing in there. 
Spring is for spring activities. I have 20, 40, 45, 46 dollars in there. As you guys can tell, I am a very low budget, um, a very, we're a very low budget home as far as my cash envelopes go. So I try to keep everything on the light side. <laughs> Summer has 10, 20, 21 dollars in there. Fall is for fall activities. We have 10 in there. We are currently in winter, we're not doing well. Daddy did take them um, sledding over this past weekend, but I was dead beyond belief, so I didn't even have to worry about dipping in there. And Daddy does okay on his own. All right, next up is going to be Home Auto. Well, it's my home and auto binder, but I keep calling it Home Auto and Body because I have toiletries in here, and toiletries is for your body. So the first up, first one up is going to be Betty Boop. This is for my car, for my ride, for any smell goods, for anything new I might want to buy for her, tires, anything like that. I have a lonely $6 in there. I'm still thankful that can at least buy maybe Tiger Shine. I don't know, but I like to keep a little something in there for her. Car tags is just for that. The car tags or car registration is what I should have actually named it as. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 dollars in there right now. I had a goal right now. I'm just putting whatever I can in there. And once it comes time to actually pay that note, I'm just going to give that money to daddy and be like, here you go. Do with it what you will. House maintenance is for maintaining the home. So anything that might need to be repaired or anything new I might want to buy, whether it's dishes or a vacuum, uh, larger items, not like cleaning supplies and things like that. I have $10 in my home maintenance right now. I need to bump that up just in case, because I was telling daddy I want to buy some new, like a uh, new ladle, a new spatula, things like that, because I tend to, <laughs> don't judge me, I tend to forget about them or just like leave them on the side of the pot and they get burned or, because they're, they're plastic, I don't really like the metal on the pans and the pot, so anyway. Household supplies is for smell goods, sponges, laundry detergent, uh, what are those called, dryer sheets, things like that. The little uh, scent beads, oh, I love the scent beads. I have $10 in there, that's not going to get me far at all, so I need to bump that up. Insurance deductible is just that. I have $500 saved just in case anything, $500 is my deductible amount. So I have that sitting in my high yield savings account. I don't have to add to that, deduct from that, we're leaving it alone. Toiletries is for just that. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, um, washcloths, loofahs, razors, toothpaste, toothpaste, deodorant, anything that falls in that category. I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67 dollars. Not bad. Okay, I thought I had more than that, but who am I to judge? It's my own, it's my binder. <laughs> All right, next up is going to be for business. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, I think she is just like, I don't think there's anything in here. So we will both be surprised if there is. So my business binder, so I have, Equipment, and in case you're wondering, I did create these just trying to do something a little cute. I have equipment, which is for uh, like ring light if I need a new keyboard or mouse. Fees is for any fees that might obtain to either my channel or my Etsy shop. I was debating on doing maybe like a little like a promotion, but I was like, I'm just gonna let algorithm do its thing. Giveaways is for you guys. Um, anytime I want to do a giveaway, I put money in here to either purchase the item or to give money away. P.O. Box is just for that, for my P.O. Box. Um, Daddy's actually taking care of this, so I'm not going to worry about that. Shipping is for any extra shipping costs that I might need to pay if I'm going to send a giveaway out or if I want to send happy mail to somebody. That's when this comes into play. Supplies is for supplies for my Etsy shop, for my channel. If I need to buy, uh, not stamps, stamps is under shipping, but if I need to buy maybe some cardstock, lamination paper, scratcher stickers, anything like that. And then taxes. So taxes. Now I know it's not going to be a lot, but this is anytime I've, I have been paid from Etsy or YouTube. I currently have 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 75. And I was just told from daddy that I believe we're getting a pretty good refund. So I'm just going to leave that in there for right now. And shh, 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 shh. No, nada. I've said nothing to anybody. No? Okay. Next up is going to be for month ahead so ooh, these are starting to sway 
Okay, this binder, oh, I didn't tell you guys, but these binders here, I purchased all these off of um, Amazon and the dashboards I created myself. I would love to sell them on Etsy. However, I think I pulled all these images from like Pinterest and I don't know if somebody is, if I'm sure they belong to somebody. I don't, I don't need no beef with nobody. This one I purchased from a pink cloth co from Tina and they come with envelopes and I just put the, um, the labels on there from my Cricut machine. This keychain I got from Etsy so long ago, she no longer sells these, sadly, because I wanted to do all of my binders up. And then this binder I received from a giveaway from Vanilla Budgets, from Mia. I don't know what's happening with her, but I hope all is well. So this is my month ahead binder. Okay, so this is what I was telling you guys. Like, I, I'm sorry, I'm bending the heck out of her, but anyway, that's what we do here. So I created this dashboard as well. I just wanted something to be cute. I have my tracker here. So I currently have 1,200, in case you can't see, I have $1,255 in there right now. I have my goal amounts over here for uh, one month. This is one, yes, one month. And then I also have the total amounts that I have in there currently. So I don't believe I have any money whatsoever in these envelopes. No, not that. Oh, I thought my baby was crying. So I do have car note, that is for my actual car payment, electric for the home, fuel for the vehicle, gas for the home, groceries, internet, and phone. And I believe that is it, right? Insurance, yeah, I run through everything. Okay, so the ones that I have fully funded right now is fuel, uh, gas for the home, and inter oh internet and phone now that is if wait i don't have electric no fuel fuels fully funded oh i had it at 300 okay so what i want to do is pull out i think it would be about 600 and some odd dollars to get me to my 1000 dollar goal and then some of these would actually be at their goal amount. If I decide to leave that money in here or if I'm just going to put that into a savings, I don't know yet. But this is my month ahead binder and that's what we're looking like right now. I haven't touched it. Everything is still the same as it shows here. Okay, so these are the two savings binders that I have, savings challenge binders that I have. This one I received um, as from a giveaway from Pink Uni Budget. She just gave me like six. Six, 50 to 75 dollars I want to say and she told me like buy whatever you want in the shop and I went wild I went wild so this was one of the binders that I just needed to get this uh Thai scratcher was sent to me from Ali planning with boys she's so super sweet check out her Etsy shop please you will not be disappointed you're gonna just be careful though because you might go on a budget because you're gonna want to buy so many things Okay, so the current challenges I have in here right now is the One Frugal Introvert $121 challenge. I wasn't going to go over my savings challenges, but we're here, so I guess we will. So the total amount that I have in here right now is 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67. And this is going to go into kiddos activities. If you are a OG, double OG, triple OG, you know that I do like to put whatever envelope my savings challenge is going to go towards just to help me stay focused so i'm like okay this needs to go into kiddos activities this is for field trips lunches um any sports they're going to be involved in so sometimes i'm like you know what let me get this done now and that is the reason why i like to put those on the back so i know exactly what i am saving for it helps encourage me and i know people say well you can just put that money in the bank yes you really could but this makes it fun this makes me want to save you feel me you feel me okay this is the tie scratcher envelope again, planning with boys, Ali. This is gonna go into holidays and seasons. Once this is filled up, I don't know what the total amount is. It's a mystery. But once it's finished, I'm going to just do a like spin the wheel type thing. Or I did buy a randomizer. I bought a randomizer from Carmen the Humble Budgeter. Wait till I show you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, currently I have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. I have seen people using these randomizer little cutouts and they just throw their dice. Oh, and I'm like, I want that. Okay, shut the box. She's a little thirsty girl. That I purchased from Reinventing Renee. Uh, I have it somewhere, but we're not going to go over that right now. So anyway, in here right now. Oh, and I don't have this label. I don't know what this is going to go towards, so it's going to be a surprise once I'm done with it. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86. I told you she's thirsty. She stays thirsty. I don't know. 
it's just it has to be my luck because i'll be all excited and like ooh, and then i shut the box like once and that's it this is for my star notes in case i don't have a star note with me but um for example there would be a little ash well it looks like an asterisk to me like an asterisk star and it would be right here at the end and that just symbolizes that that bill was duplicated by the treasury i think it was either like damaged or something and they had to destroy it and that is the recreation of it if i'm not mistaken if i'm wrong go ahead and correct me down below but don't be sassy about it okay domino road is so fun i want to play this right now so this i received as happy mail from banana split co from hannah she is on etsy i've linked her before so in case you want this check in my previous not my previous but the one before that savings challenge video and i have a link in there for you so fun but right now i don't have anything in there um once i do start this one this is going to go into my son's envelope because i wanted to i wanted to bump him up i'm like poor babe has been at like two dollars forever fresh start budgeting she had sent me some happy mail a little while back and i wanted to restart her savings challenge but i forgot how high the amounts was that was my first scratch $35 I was like sweet Jesus um, I'm gonna put this into clothing because we always need clothing so I have 20 35 in there right now and then oh there's also one on the back so this one is going to just be a like a cross off and save for that one Next up is the $100 Cloud Scratcher. This I purchased from Amethyst Budgets. I did re-stickerize this one in case these <laughs> look familiar to you. She had sent it with the little circle ones and I was like, it's so adorable, I wanna do it again. The, oh, this is going into holidays and seasons as well, so that's amazing. I should probably just put this straight into Christmas, right? Help me, help myself like an extra $100. Okay, low budget self-care. Now, I, I, um altered this challenge so this was a freebie sent from a pink cloth co from tina it's a self-care challenge and it's supposed to be seven hundred dollars now seven hundred dollars could be for a vacation which would have been feasible but i'm not going to spend seven hundred dollars on self-care i'm just being honest i really wouldn't so what i decided to do was instead of let me hold up because i don't want to have like my fingers all Okay, so see how this one right here shows $20, 25 $30, $75. Instead of saving those double digits amounts, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to save the first number. So instead of 20, I'm only going to save the two. Instead of 75, I'm only going to save the seven. So after I did all that math, this is actually 67, not 700. So thank you for the wonderful freebie. However, that is way out of my budget. And I put beauty, of course. That's way out of my budget. I just wouldn't. That's that's not something that I would do. I know others do. And go ahead, boo, you do you. So this is a Christmas scratcher that is in my shop. And I don't even know the numbers. I'm scared because I did a Valentine's one. I'm going to show you it. And she threw me. I didn't know it was going to be that high. B&B. Um, &B, she's me. I am her. <laughs> so somebody had told me that when they say B&B, &B, they think of Bath and Body Works. And same. So do I. So I'm like, why do I keep doing that? So anyway, this is gonna go towards my uh, Christmas fund for 2024. Winter Wonderland, this one was also created by me. I have not started this one. This one, I'm debating if I should put it into winter or if I should put it into holidays and seasons. Can we? I don't know what that one's gonna go into. Did I label it? <gasps> I did label it. Okay, holidays and seasons, winter. Okay, so I already des designated what that's gonna go into. So no worry for me. All right, this is the Save 24 in 2024. It is a scratcher. This is gonna go into kiddo spending in my kids binder. This one, these are all available in my shop. And if for some reason you want to purchase it and you see it sold out, just send me a message. I'll reactivate it, I'll get it out to you. Tanya's Budget and Chaotic Life. So this snowflake uh, scratcher she sent to me as a freebie, I believe, when I had ordered uh, one of her challenges way back when and this will go into personal i don't know the amount but i just wanted to put a little something in there for me save 144 in 2024 this one is also mine uh this is going to go into clothing but it's 24 dollars each time Ooh, i could do 12 and 12 12 and 12 
or I could do it by fours and do like six. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that. 24 is a pretty big number for me. I'm definitely low budget. So this is the XOXO Valentine's Day Conversation Heart Scratcher. Okay, so I right now I currently, oh, you know what? Boom, I'm going to fix it. So I have this extra one here. I'm going to put this in here because I did have an IOU of a dollar. But I'm going to fix that. So we'll just... I know that's really ugly, but I'm just gonna scratch that off so I don't owe anymore. So this one is available in my shop as well right now. So let's see what we currently have. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, sweet Jesus. Okay, not bad. And I wanted to get this one completed before Valentine's Day, but I was like, you know what? I'll just recoup whatever it is that I spend. And that is it. I still have two envelopes that I am able to put a savings challenge into, but I don't have any. Well, I do have things in mind, but I need to get these done first. Like, stop. So that is the first. We'll put her here. That's the first savings challenge binder. And then this one was sent to me as um, a happy mail from Soul Mama. I know a lot of you guys have received these binders, these uh, Zodiac sign binders. This dashboard I purchased from from Abundant Gains, and it is my Pisces, and it says intuitive and dreamy. Word! That is me. <laughs> Probably sometimes to a fault. So this is the No Spend Challenge, which I got as a uh, digital download, a free digital download from Little Helpful Files. Lindsay had this in her description box. I don't know if she still does, but if she does, please jump on it. I laminated it, turned it into an envelope, and then this is a scripture that it comes with. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Psalms 54, 4. And I have really been binging her videos about reading through the Bible and talking with God and, and meditating on the Bible. And it's just in the mornings, I get like at least a good 15, 20 minutes. And thank you so much, Lindsay. I don't think she watches my channel. But anyway, if you do, thank you so much because you are definitely helping me through my growth. Okay, the nose bed for January, I don't know what I'm going to put this towards, but so far we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. As you can see, I have a week here of no spends, and that was the week that I was starting to get sick. And I also had a bulk up of, of, of uh, food in the house because I made pozole. I made a big pot, you know, that lasts like three to four days. And then I also made Zupa Toscana, the Olive Garden copycat soup. I made that boy, bad boy as well, and that lasted about two to three days. So that took care of that. If you guys are ever trying to do like no grocery shopping, make chili, soups, anything like that, tamales, whatever you can do to get by, do it. Okay, so my month challenge, I don't even know why I have this in here right now. I'm not utilizing it. I have an extra envelope in there. Bee buck. So this is for just that. Any bee buck I come across, I put in here. I currently have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 dollars. And I purchased this from Reinventing Ray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars in there. Once this is completed, oh, I didn't mark it, but this will go into personal because it is for B, balance and budget, me. This is a Christmas challenge. Save $80. I purchased this from Elba, Unique Life Elba. She has a YouTube channel. And she also has an Etsy shop, Unique Finds by Bita. I haven't started this one yet, but once I get that started, it's going to go into Christmas. This one I did start because this is going to go towards... Uh, so I was going to put this towards our anniversary, but my husband's like, we don't need to do anything big for our anniversary. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to put this towards his birthday. And I already showed you guys what I want to get him. And he, I know he watches some of my videos. So uh, I can't. Hopefully he didn't hear what I want to get him. But I'm like flip flopping. I know what I want to get him. But I just don't know which one. So anyway, this is going to be $150. This one I also purchased from Unique Life Elba. It was like a three pack, I think. Digital downloads. So I have 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 115, 16, 17, 18, 119 is the total amount that I have in here right now. The goal is 150. We're not that far from it, so I am happy about that. His birthday is in May. I have plenty of time to save, so I can do this one. Then I can throw in another challenge, bump him up, and then boom, I'll be at my goal of three to four hundred dollars. I know, crazy, but whatever. Daddy takes care of me. I have to try to do what I can for him. Alrighty. 
I believe this is the last one. So I have two savings challenges in here and this, this is for my kids. So this is for back to school. We did back to school shopping uh, June or July or August of 2023. We spent a little over $400. So I decided I was going to use this challenge, the mini savings challenge from Annette's Creations on Etsy. And then this is a $100 Be Happy and Save. And this one is from Renee, just roll it in glitter. So far in here right now, I have one, two, one, uh, 220, 225, 26, 27, 28, 229 is the total amount that I have in here right now. So I am over halfway to my goal, which is amazing because we are in January and they get out of school, I think in September. So we need to start buying clothes again, the school supplies. We need to start doing all the things for them. So there you go. Last thing I have is my 100 envelope challenge. So let me grab that. This is the very last item that I use here in my channel. So this is a um, freebie, happy mail that was sent to me, again, from Renee, just rolling in glitter. When she sent me a package, guys, she spoiled the heck out of me. I had originally ordered placeholders from her. That package got lost in the mail. So she's like, don't even worry about it. I'm gonna send it out again. And she sent it out with even more. I really wish I got the first one because I'm like, if this is what you did for the second one, what was the first one like? So this is the 100 envelope challenge and it is a little bit different. If you take a look here, it is not one through 100. It is um, five through 50 and you have two rows of each denomination. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten. So you have ten fifty dollars, ten forty five dollars, ten forty dollars, and so on. And the total amount is two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars that you will save. So I am not in a rush. This is the one where I was telling you guys I think I want to do a live and do a little chitty chat with you guys and just catch up. Hopefully I won't die from coughing. But Nikki had told me that what I should do is Pull these envelopes here and put a little cardstock in here with the number on it and i was like boom i have plenty of um scraps that i can do that with so i want to do that that way i know right offhand this is a 50 dollars envelope and i can keep track of what i have in here so i do have three other envelopes and i think just like when i get tired of having a certain amount in here i'll take the money out and i'll send it on over to the bank currently i have 705 in the bank and then whatever this is i don't know the total amount all together but that's what we're looking like right now so that is it so here you guys go this is a what's in my binders video i want to thank you so much for sticking with me if you made it all the way to the end please put a blue heart in the comments please comment like and subscribe all the fun things and until next time Bye.